customer. Wait, what's your rush? What's your hurry? You gave me such a fright. I thought you was the ghost of a minute. Can't you sit? Sit it down. Sit. All I meant is that I haven't seen a customer for weeks. Did you come in for a pie, sir? Don't forgive me if me it's a little vague. What was that? But you think we had the plague? From the way that people keep avoiding. No, you don't. Heaven knows a try, sir. But there's no one comes and even to inhale. Right you are, sir. Would you like a drop of ale? Mind you, I can hardly blind them. These are probably the worst boys in London. I know why nobody cares to take them. I should know, I make them, but good no, the worst boys in London. Not even that's polite, the worst boys in London. If you daddy take a bite, is that just disgusting? You have to concede it. It's nothing but crusting. You'll drink this, you'll need it. The worst boys in London. And I wonder with the price of meat what it is. When you get it, never thought I'd live to see the day. Many think it was a trick for the poor animals. What a dine in the street. Mrs. Mooney has a pie shop. Does her business, but I noticed something weird. Likely all her neighbours' cats had disappeared. Have to hand it to her. What a course. Enterprise. Popping buses into pies. Wouldn't do in my shop. Just the thought of it's enough to make you sick. And I'm telling you, them pussy cats is quick. No denying times is hard, so Even harder than the worst boys in London. Only Lord and nothing more is that just revolting or greasy and gritty. It looks like it's molting and tastes like. Well, pity a woman alone with limited wind and the worst boys in London. Ah, sir, times is hard. Times is hard.